parenthesis. Huh. It's old, but it's not that old. Yeah, what the heck? What the heck? It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. You know, I might clean it up a little. Who knows? People like it dirty. Don't don't twist that any way. Oh. Oh. See what kind of treasure we can up here. Holy smokes. That's a plastic. Oh, badge. That's actually good. That's keep. It's plastic. That Scott's thing is shot. That's metal. Ooh. 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 That. I did see one more thing though. Check those out. Those are cool. Oh, and this welcome thing, that's pretty cool. Eh, this might be shot. Nah, it's fixable. Nah, it's fixable. Sorts of goodies. See how much space I got. Wind chime, don't need that. No, that's kind of cool. I'll take that. I don't know what the heck this thing is. Oh, she sits down. Oh, it hangs from a tree. Hangs from a tree? Who knows? Let's see what the neighbors have. We got books. We got skateboard decks. That thing's shot. Looks like a military bag, but it doesn't have any logos, so I'm going to leave that. Oh, get the rest of this. How you doing? Scrapped. That's cheap. I don't know what brand it is. Light iron. Two motors. Not 
know what this is. Made in China, that's kind of neat. Those are pretty neat. Flea market. It's like Holy smokes. Does this thing roll? Oh, it's kind of wobbly. How am I going to fit that? How am I going to fit that? Both these things are wild. Oh, oh alright. That thing's kind of cool. Got a bunch of knickknacks in here. Very nice, uh, very nice glazed bowl. So. So that's going to do it for the vlog for today. Um, well, actually, it's not going to do it for the vlog for today. That's going to do it for the scrapping for today. There's going to be two days of scrap into this vlog. Uh, and, yeah, so that's going to be two days of scrapping in this vlog. One vlog, two days, taco stacks, does it all. But most importantly, if you guys saw me snip wires, or you have wondered why I snip the wire, or I don't take the motor out of vacuum cleaners or plastic fans, this video clearly shows exactly why you just don't take excessive junk, especially stuff that you know you're going to make 20 cents more or 30 cents more after 10 minutes of work for a stupid motor. But at the same time, if I would have taken a vacuum cleaner, or if I would have taken one more, you know, thing of light iron that was completely irrelevant, like that fence, I would have never got that nice antique roll top desk. That antique roll top desk. Is probably the best find I have of this entire year so far um, not even just including the videos I've done the entire year I can't preach it enough don't chase the dime or the nickel when there's a $20 bill right in front of you not saying that things worth 20 bucks you know I think it's worth more but reality is it's a good piece I don't know if I want to take it to a consignment shop I don't know if I want to take it to an auction because I've seen them go for crazy prices. I don't really know much about furniture. As you saw, I picked up those lane end tables or side tables. You know, we'll see what happens with that. But I just want to make sure that, you know, everyone kind of gets on the same page that, you know, you can chase a vacuum cleaner and, and take out the motor and spend 10 minutes. And, you know, you get a, a motor that weighs five or six pounds. And you're getting, what, five cents more, six cents more? per pound on a motor as you would for light iron while at the same time you're adding more weight and more garbage inside your van it you know it just it's it just not the way that I kind of like to see things so you know especially if you do multiple things I think if you're just a straight scrapper great you know if you know how to take apart motors quick three minutes two minutes um, definitely go for it you know if you just go to a scrapyard you don't do flea markets you don't do consignment you don't do resale 
then don't you know don't worry about the antique you know primitive or you know whatever else is out there just focus on scrap I'm kind of different uh, in my ways I kind of enjoy finding the antique stuff just as much as I enjoy finding like a brass thing or something like that so you know just just be well aware of your surroundings be well aware of everything now let's get into the second part of this video the day two let's get into it Might be a nice person today. Pick up people's shit. It's got some weight to it. They don't have a name on them, but the lamp sucked to sell. They got the cord and some metal on the bottom, so I'm gonna take the whole thing. Take the whole thing because it has it has metal on the bottom and it still has the cord. I'm going to take the whole thing because I know someone's going to yell at me, so I have to take the whole thing. So that's going to do it for this part of vlog. Uh, garbage hunting done for today. Uh, yesterday picked up a lot of cool items. Today picked up one or two items. You know, it's really hit or miss the, these places. Sometimes the my day two is better than my day one, and sometimes it's you know reversed. So you never know what you're going to come across. That's what's really cool about it. You know, if you're stopping for the first time, check out my other videos. Um, definitely picked up a lot of cool things in the past. You know, you won't be disappointed. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Um, we'll be putting out more garbage videos in the future. Uh, I think there's there's definitely a great response on YouTube in terms of you know activity of what people like to see, and I think these garbage videos are definitely at the top. I wish I can put more out, but you know garbage day is only one day of the week. I do two towns, so it's two days of the week, and you know I wish I could put out more, but given uh, the current circumstances, I, I can't. So you know just like you know. Everything you never know what you can come across. Definitely cool stuff. You know, until next time. So keep living a dream. Have a great day. Peace.